Uh, Explore is the first staff student innovation initiative in Ireland and what that basically means is that uh, individual students are teamed up with individual lecturers, tutors, basically any university staff in working together on a collaborative project. This year 28 projects have been funded by Explore. That's the most projects that have ever been funded in the initiative in one year. We've seen over 180 staff and students coming together to work on these projects and to bring them to fruition. It's about adding value to the Salt Hill area um, through the installation of environmental education notice boards, providing kind of scientific information about everything that happens in the coastal area and on beaches itself. We're working in conjunction with the City Council and uh, we've also had contacts from the County Council. Um, they want us to develop lesson plans for schools, so I mean developing kind of field-based workshops that can bring these kids into the in, onto the beach and have exercise where they're also learning and benefiting from it. The Accountant Nuggets is basically bite-sized information for Leaving Cert Accountant students. That's what it's all about, the nuggets, the nuggets of information that help them progress in their Leaving Cert exams. Our project is a collaboration between nursing and podiatry and it's aimed at care to prevent pressure ulcerations in those that are vulnerable. It's going to have a great impact with carers who are looking after people in their family. Um, it, hopefully it's going to reduce down the incidence of pressure ulcerations and reduce down costing and mortality rates as well. So the Bali Neuroscience Centre workshops are aimed at disseminating information to kids and the public about the brain and brain research um, and to kind of make it a bit more fun and interactive for children as well as giving lots of information to the adults that might want to learn more about different diseases. I think there's a lot of fear when it comes to learning about the brain and neuroscience in general, so it's nice to kind of get away with that fear. I mean, kids don't have that at all. They love learning about the brain, looking at all the, uh, the gory kind of organs and looking at the animals. Um, it's a much more natural and fascinating thing, and there's no, it takes away the fear out of it. This is a project that um, the medical school is undertaking, and it's called the Undergraduate Surgical Training Program. And so in this program, we teach students how to suture, basically. So we teach them um, the basic surgical skills like simple interrupted sutures that are essential that every medical student should know before they begin on their clinicals or even when they're in medical school. Explorer has given us the opportunity to create QR codes for each of the museum specimens over in the biology museum over in the MRI building. What these QR codes do is they link you directly to a website providing more information on each of the animals. This is going to be able to bring animals and our museum to life to a broader audience. Because it's a small enough space, it's a bit difficult to get a lot of information out there. So with a QR code, we just put up a little, small little um, poster and scan it, brings up a wealth of information. This year is my first time inv being involved in Explore, and I think I'm involved in three projects altogether. The core, uh, Coral Project, the uh, Capture Campus, I was helping out my colleague Valerie with that, and also the student app project. And it's just great to have something that, it's not just your day-to-day -day work, it's something you're interested in, uh, that benefits the university, but you, you do like outside of your nine to five. You get to work with people you wouldn't ordinarily work with, be that uh, other staff or indeed the students. And at the end of it, you get to step back from something and say, look, I'm really proud of what we've achieved here. My hope uh, for Explore is that it will continue to grow, uh, continue to excite, continue to challenge us, and that this will be embedded on campus and continue to impact on our society locally, nationally and internationally.